In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to bring audio into your Articulate Engage interaction, and then we're going to learn how to edit it. Now, when you open up your interaction, you're going to have a window that looks like this. And over here on the right hand side is your audio section. Now, you have two ways to bring audio into your interaction. One way is to record audio, which we'll do here in a couple of minutes. And then the other way is to import pre existing audio. And then over here, you have an audio editor, so we'll look at how to edit audio that you have in your interaction. And then over here we have a narration script. So sometimes people like to add a script in here and then hit record and they just read the script. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit record. We're going to read the script. I'm also going to introduce some noise. So I'll scratch on the microphone so that I can show you how to edit out those imperfections. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit record. Now you can see there's a countdown. And then we can see that the audio is recording. So I'm going to read the script. This house is on 1204 Comstar Lane and it is very beautiful. And there's my noise. So let's go ahead and stop the recording. So now I can see that I have audio because I have some time here and it's telling me. Otherwise it would say no audio. So I'm going to close this. And now let's go ahead and edit the audio. So I'm going to click on the audio editor. And what I see here is a waveform. And this is my entire audio file so I can play it. Yeah. And then we can see that the audio is recording. All right, so I can see my waveform. Now up here you have some things that you can do. Uh, one is you can import audio. Uh, you can select parts of audio and delete it, which we'll do. You can crop it. You can add some silence, increase or decrease the volume. So let's go ahead and uh, look at what we have. Down, and then we can see that the audio is recording. So I'm going to read the script. This house is on 1204 Comstar Lane and is very beautiful. So now what I know is this area from here to here is the actual narration. The rest of this is junk. So let's go ahead and do this. So this right here I can tell just by looking at the waveform is where I scratch the microphone. So I can select the text and if I want to delete just this, I can select it and hit delete. The other option is like right here, I know that this is my good audio. So I'm going to extend this a little. So this is my good audio. So I can crop this. So when I crop it, the only audio that's going to remain is what I selected. This audio here at the ends are going to be deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and hit crop. And now you can see I have my longer audio. Now let's say right here I can tell that this audio here is um, got a bunch of noise on there and this is really not part of the waveform. I can hit silent and add some silence. And so now I have some silence there. So you can see the audio editing is very simple. So if we preview this from the beginning. This house is on 1204 Comstar Lane and is very beautiful. And you can see everything works fine. Then again you can increase or decrease the volume. Now the one thing I'll add is that sometimes people like to export the audio and they just like to have the audio that they recorded as an archive. So that's one option. Or they like to export the audio, do some manipulation in a different audio editor, and then they want to bring it back in. So if you go up to File, you have the option to export the audio and that will export as a WAV or MP3. And then when you're done working with it, you can import that and bring it back into Engage. So that's basically it when you're working with the audio editor in Engage. So you can record audio, you can import it, and then you can use the audio editor to edit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And then go ahead and watch the next tutorial where we learn to work with images and the different properties.